Hi friends, here's an idea I've been thinking about. Um, have you ever felt like uh, when someone said to you, just be yourself, it wasn't particularly good advice? Um, I, I felt like that sometimes, and I, I'm thinking about why, and I, I don't know, maybe it's because it's sort of like very hard to actually execute, be yourself, what does that mean, you know, be what? Um, but of course, what it speaks to is is a sense of authenticity, of integrity. Like, be in, have integrity, have authenticity. That's important, sure. But also, a lot of other things are important. So, uh, I wasn't really sure, you know, how important that was. I think now I think it's really important. But for a little bit of a, of a different reason, and I want to explain that, which is that I think it's really important to have idols, um, and. As you as you go through life, you find people who are doing things that you that you think you know I, I'd love to do that you know that, what what they're doing that's really cool you know and I I, I have idols I've, I have um, not here I've just moved but I have um, printouts photos of my idols and I put them on my wall um, and you know there's people like Seth Godin Richard Branson and it's important, I think it's important to have idols, but the mistake that I think I, that I used to tr fall into, the trap that I used to fall into is that I would think of myself as saying, like, I'm, I'm going to be the next Seth Godin or you know, something like that. I'm going to need, uh, I used to think I'm going to be the next Tony Robbins, I'm going to be the Tony Robbins for Europe or something like that. But uh, when you define yourself in terms of an idol, in terms of someone else being like them, you lose and you forget the thing that's true about you. And so in the last year or so, I think what's really sunk in for me is that for me to serve the world best, I need to figure out how to become the best me, how to become the best Josh and not the best Seth Godin or the best uh, Richard Branson or whatever. And I think that maybe the reason why that's a little bit difficult is because I'm never the person I was yesterday. And so... I've never I met the person I'm going to be tomorrow, right? So I, I know what, you know, these idols look like um, in their stage of life and where I want to be at, at that stage of life. So I, it sort of gives me something to shoot for. But for my own self, if I say I want to be the best me, well, I don't know what that looks like. And that's the, that's the hard part. But it's much more worthwhile if you think about... Anyway, that's the conclusion I've, I've come to. I think I've come to the conclusion that who I want to be is, is the best unfolding of myself. And that means, sure, pick characteristics from people. You know, I want to be able to um, put ideas t together and make them as concise and clear as Seth Godin can do. And that's, for me, that makes it very clear what I want to be able to emulate from him. But I know now that I don't want to emulate his whole life or the whole life of any other of my idols. Instead, I pick what are the attributes, the characteristics that I really love, that I really want to make part of myself, that... Or maybe that I feel like I'm already part of me somehow and that I can bring out more and and use idols in that way. I don't know. <laughs> that's a bit a bit all over the place, but that's my new perspective on on um of having idols. It's a uh, it's harder, um um it's less straightforward, um, but I think it's much more holistic in the end and and allows me to live uh, a more honest life. So, I don't know. Maybe those thoughts have been helpful for you. Um, think about it. Let me know. What idols do you have and what characteristics, really, are you trying to emulate from those idols? And and what have you maybe found out about yourself um, that's unique to you? Something that, you know, you, you know that you want to do for yourself. That Yeah. I mean, maybe, I think that's what I, also the other thing I realized was that when I think about really who I want to do and be and who I am, I realized who my adults become better, you know, like, I don't think in the past I really thought of myself as being like, as, uh, you know, a real huge Seth Godin fan. I always, I've read his books for many years, but uh, I think when I recently, in the last two years, realized that I love creativity and working on lots of different projects and, and I'm driven hugely by curiosity and doing new things again and again just starting new things i realize that's what seth godin is doing his whole life you know and so that's kind of something that i want to emulate too you know successfully doing new things constantly um trying doing things in new ways too you know i mean seth godin has published so many books which is doing the same thing but every time he does a book he does it in a different way 
um, just recently he published a, a book that's like a magazine format, high gloss photos, you know, um, before that he published a thick <laughs> tome. Um, and so every book that he does, he does it differently. You know, he did a book on Kickstarter. He did an audio book that he sold for $1. He does, um, you know, little books that he sells five at a time and things like that. And that's really cool. So that process of doing something different each time, of pushing a new boundary every time you create a work, that's something that I want to emulate. So I'm curious if that's given you any thoughts. Um, let me know. And I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.